5 more less known historical countries Independent State of Croatia, represented with the acronym NDH, was a Nazi puppet state which was contained in the pre-war territories of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. It extended into areas of modern-day Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, parts of Serbia and of Slovenia. After its sole legal party and its military congregations, the movement has been named the Ustasha movement. Initially, NDH was supposed to fight guerrillas in the areas not directly occupied by Italy, Germany, Hungary, or Bulgaria, but soon became a Nazi tool of terror against the local population. The government targeted the extensive Roma community, Jews, and Serbs, as well as other minorities, persecuted by Hitlerism. Thus, many locals suffered under the repressive hand of the NDH monarchy. From the viewpoint of the NDH, those actions were necessary to protect the Croatian population from Hitler's ideas of the purge against what he declared Slavic Judeo-Bolshevism. However, a partisan movement soon formed across Yugoslavia. The partisans were split on the line of activity, the socialists requested a full-on guerrilla war, while the Chetniks asked to stay less active until the Allies would arrive for liberation. However, socialists took the lead and started a guerrilla campaign. The Chetniks answered by splitting with the partisans and going to a civil war with them. Soon, the goal of Chetniks and the NDH was equivalent, to fight the far-left guerrillas attempting to liberate all of Yugoslavia. Thereby, both anti-guerrilla forces were supplied by Berlin and given orders to cooperate with collaboration movements all across Yugoslavia to fight Tito and his socialist uprisings. By 1945 most of Yugoslavia was liberated by the socialist partisans and with the help of the Red Army the remains of what would later become the Socialist Federative Republic of Yugoslavia were liberated. The dispute between the partisans and the betraying collaborationist forces remains to this day and is seen as one of the major causes for the hate between nations of West Balkans, Croats and Serbs calling each other Ustasha and Chetniks respectively. As NDH was tending to cooperate with Germany and did not want to be absorbed and Germanized later on, it campaigned for Aryanization of Croats to avoid Hitler's persecution. For example, NDH persecuted queer folks, promoted Slavic revisionism, glorifying the Slavic Benedict connection and the theories on non-Slavic origins of Croats. Those theories would later be disputed and eventually dismissed by historians. Overall, NDH built concentration camps, organized deportations of minorities, repressed the local population, executed any opposition, brutally conducted anything issued by Berlin or its own politicians, and was a terrifying nationalist monarchy. Only after the war, its leaders were charged. Some escaped to Argentina or the US, others were punished by the subsequent Yugoslav government. Fate of some remains unknown and we can only hope those individuals paid for their crimes against humanity and all the forms of violence they inflicted on the populace. Free Territory of Trieste On November 12, 1920 the Treaty of Ra Paolo was signed, handing all of Slovenian literal, Yugoslav Istria, Trieste, and Gorizia to Italy. The city of Fiume gained independence but was annexed by the Kingdom of Italy by 1924. Following this treaty, seen as unfair by the newly formed Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, ethnic tensions in the region rose. Soon after the 1929 self-coup in the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, which renamed into the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, tensions exploded. A Slovene organization named TIGR, standing for Yugoslav expansion into the areas of Trieste, Istria, Gorizia, and Fiume, launched a guerrilla attack in Trieste. Radical persecution by the Italian government followed, ranging from torture to death penalties and attempted Italianization of the area. With fascists in the Italian government, any Yugoslav activity in the area was suppressed. Only with the Second World War, the Yugoslav partisans got to liberate the area. 
Fiume, Istria, Gorizia, and Trieste were all liberated by socialist guerrillas. Western allies demanded Yugoslav forces cede the area to Italy, which was to be reinstalled, but Tito, the president of Yugoslavia, refused. Following fierce negotiations and Stalin's rejection to intervene on the side of Yugoslavia, Tito agreed to give up the cities of Trieste and Gorizia and some countryside, but managed to secure control over modern Slovenian littoral, Croatian Istria and Fiume. To satisfy Yugoslavians who protested for Gorizia to be reunited with the rest of Slovenia, a city literally translated to New Gorizia was built near the border. Further south, around the area of Trieste, pressure was much bigger and the deal was made to install a new country, the Free Territory of Trieste. It was a neutral independent state formed in 1947, as ethnic tensions calmed down, the zones were split up and de facto annexed by Italy and Yugoslavia in 1954 as incorporation was agreed upon by both governments. By 1975 or 1977, the Free Territory was officially dissolved as well. There was also a renowned revolt in Trieste. Following the 1953 Italian parliamentary election, Yugoslavia and Italy accelerated their claims to their zones of Trieste area. Tensions rose and after civil administration of Zone A was transferred to Italy, following a provocation by the police, citizens rebelled. Six died and hundreds were injured, the Yugoslav-Italian border was a geopolitical hotspot of the early Cold War. With Germany split up and in the midst of the Berlin airlift crisis, with Austria being stalled in a messy division and the world at the brink of a nuclear war, tensions near Gorizia and Trieste always threatened to initiate a military confrontation, which could be stopped by no United Nations, by no Allied Committee and by no international treaty. Administration of the Cuban Oblast in the Russian Civil War In April 1917, the Cuban Rada, the supreme administration of the Cuban Cossacks, declared independence of the Oblast. This measure, done in reaction to the February Revolution, intensified on September 24 of the same year when it chose to adopt its own legislation and enforcement. Following the October Revolution, fierce fights with the Bolshevik forces broke out. The leader of the Rada, appointed by the Tsar, proclaimed the Cuban People's Republic or the Cuban National Republic on January 28, 1918. The Cuban National Republic failed to get its demands ratified in the Paris Peace Conference. Seeing daring Cuban demands for an independent state, Anton Denikin, the deputy supreme ruler of White Russian Movement, forcefully replaced the government in the name of the Mensheviks. By 1920 the Bolshevik forces took over the area of Kuban and the administration was de-established by Denikin. <music> Belarusian Central Council was a puppet state of the Greater German Reich, installed in the area of modern-day Belarus. It was formed on March 1, 1943 in the Berlin-occupied area and functioned as a Nazi collaboration administration. From the capital Minsk it enforced its own social affairs, culture, and education. Most decrees, especially in regards to military, legislation and logistics, were issued by the Nazi overlords. Through its loyalty to the German Reich, Belarus has come to commit many atrocities on its own people, or at least permit many German pogroms, executions, raids, violence, deportations and fascistoid policies. In the early 1944, as the Soviets went on an offensive, the Belarusian Council enacted universal conscription for the youth. After July 2, 1944, when the Red Army toppled the Belarusian Central Council, local defense guard was absorbed into the SS. A few days before the de-establishment of the government, the council declared independence and its supreme rule over the area. Soon after, it was evacuated into Germany, where it was legally dissolved in 1945 to dismiss any allegations of cooperation with the crippling Axis forces. In 1948, 
the council was reformed and operated as a government in exile until 1995, as one of many governments of Eastern Europe who escaped the Bolsheviks either in the Russian Civil War or the Second World War. Another example is the Belarusian Rada, organization of the Belarusian National Republic, which was expelled from Minsk in 1919 and still plays a role as a government in exile in Ottawa, Canada, as the oldest remaining exiled institution of its sort. Eastern Rumelia was an autonomous region within the Ottoman Empire. The government formed it in accordance with the Treaty of Berlin of the year of 1878. It was an equivalent of the southern parts of the modern Republic of Bulgaria. Its formation on July 13, 1878 was followed by years of independence which ended with a peaceful revolution, annexing Eastern Rumelia to the Principality of Bulgaria, a de facto independent Ottoman satellite. The region was observed by Istanbul until 1908, when the independence of Bulgaria was made official. With the Declaration of Independence, the country was renamed into the Kingdom of Bulgaria. Following military cooperation with the Central Powers in the First World War, certain provinces in the southern and the western part of the country were lost. In the Second World War, Bulgaria agreed to cooperate with the Tripartite from 1941 onwards. After a leftist coup in 1944, in cooperation with the Soviets who were making gains against the Axis, Bulgaria turned against Berlin. By 1946, the monarchy was officially abolished. <laughs>